G'day gang, Dan here, how you going? We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online in the Mark Half Prologue quest, quest line. Uh, so, we need to go and meet at uh, Viridian Watch. Let's just chat to the folks. You found them. Coglin, Indus, and Jannard returned not long ago. Thank you. We owe you a great debt. I hope the Pyrewatch warrior was able to provide the historical information you came looking for. Uh, sort of, yeah. Who else? Who else is around here? Scholar. Coglin. I couldn't help over here. You're headed to Viridian Watch? If you hadn't just rescued me from certain death, I'd ask to come along. I have wanted to see that place since, well, forever. Alas, I am in no shape for another adventure right now. Be cautious. Meridian Watch is no place for the Reckless. Any location that might have provided sanctuary to the Grey Host, even centuries in the past, can only be evil. There will be darkness in that place. Mark my words. Alright. Where's, uh... Oh, there, Shalaria. Be well, Wayfarer. As you head into Viridian Watch, may Onsi guide your blade. Thank you very much. Alright, off we go. So, we're going out, uh... A little bit northeast. North to the east a little bit. Straight through that spider web? No, around it, around it we go. So this is your first time seeing a video from me. Uh, we have this this whole event started at the beginning of the year, or around about the beginning of the year, called the Dark Heart of Skyrim. And I've got a playlist here which kind of organizes everything up until this point. And uh, so you should eventually find the entire, the entirety of the Dark Heart of Skyrim event, which concludes, I believe, with the Markarth DLC. And it has been quite a bit of fun. Going through this, this section of Skyrim. I wonder when we shall see the rest of it. If we see the rest of it. Alright, anyway. Let's get into the Viridian Watch. Search for the Grey Host hideout. Look. There's a sigil right there. Don't you see it? No. It makes so much sense. The riddle. Only those worthy can find the way to safety. Only vampires and werewolves can see these sigils. That explains why no one ever found anything. I don't see any sigils. That's because you aren't a vampire or a werewolf. Hold on, I've got just the thing. Here, a blood pendant. It lets me share some of my vampiric essence so you can see the sigils too. It's perfectly safe. At least, Fenorian said it was harmless. <laughs> What's our next step? We follow the sigils, of course. The Greyhost survivor must have used these as a guide, and they were made for that specific purpose. Now, let's see where they lead. Alright, let's go. Aha. Can't miss it now. Another one. Keep going west. South here. Not that we have a choice. Uh, I see it. I see it. It's right before. Oh, that's not it, but... Let me just sort this out. Can't walk past a sky shard without absorbing it. East, down that tunnel. Let's go south. Up those steps. Did Gwendus just run off? No, she's, <laughs> she didn't run off. Just crouched by. Waiting for me to get all that business over and done with. And down again.
Oh, this way. Keep going straight. I think we're close. Ha! This must be it. Now how to go about opening it. I'll leave that up to you. Let's check inside. There we go. Even thousands of years later, I smell faint traces of blood, sweat, and fear. A grey host survivor definitely hid out here. Let's have a look around. Alright. To all the all powerful and illustrious Lord Rada Al Saran, I created this sanctuary to account for the unfortunate possibility of the battle going awry. Awry, sorry. <laughs> a word has reached me of the grey host defeat. I fear the worst has come to pass. Damn Styrich's recklessness and his sickening ego. It is truly unjust that the man who broke the deal with Molag Bal should be the downfall of a great order. If you are reading this, I know it must have been painful to fight tirelessly, only to watch your brothers and sisters fall around you. You must survive. You will speak for those who have fallen. You must continue the legacy. I hope you did not have any trouble locating this safe haven. I made sure to mark the way with blood ma magic blood sigils that only one of your distinction would be able to detect. There are healing poultices and bandages in case you were injured, and bound prisoners for when you need to feed. Know that you are protected here. No harm will come to you. I will check on this refuge in a few days once it is safe. Once it is safe to do so. I hope to find you well. And that my act of dedication to you and your cause reflects well upon me. I am ever your loyal servant, and should you choose to grace me with the gift of immortality, I shall spend eternity as Lady Thorn in service to you as we rebuild what was lost. Your devoted servant, Lady Ingerian of Clan Dereni. Rada Al Saran was a survivor, that figures, and Lady Thorn helped him. Or should I say, Lady Ingrin? Even thousands of years later, I smell faint traces of blood, sweat, and fear. A grey host survivor definitely hid out here. Let's have a look around. I'm looking again. An ancient lockbox. Odd signet. A strange signet that shows no wear of decay or wear. Wait. What's that? Let me see it. I recognize this signet, but that doesn't make any sense. Does it have something to do with the Grey Host? I don't know. No, this can't be. But it is, isn't it? Damn it. I don't like where this is going. What's wrong? I've seen this signet before. Or one just like it. My mentor Count Verandas had one. But why would he have something connected to the Grey Host? doesn't make any sense. There has to be an explanation. You're right, of course. There must be something we're missing. We need answers, and there's only one place to find them. Ravenwatch Castle and Rivenspire. Let's go. I'll explain more when we get there. I need time to think. Uh, I want to have a look around some more first. I need to see if there's anything we missed. Go on to Rivenspire. Meet me outside Ravenwatch Castle. I'll catch up with you as soon as I've torn this place apart and put it back together. Right, well... I'll have a chat to you again. Oh, okay. Because there were other little bits and pieces that we could look at. But, um... They seem to have all disappeared now. I guess we picked the right thing first. Or the first thing right. Or the right thing first, first right. Whatever. <laughs> uh, alright. Okay, so there's nothing else to click on. Alright. I'm ready to head to Ravenwatch Castle now. Ravenwatch Castle discovered. Where is she? Oh. Over here. Gwendus. Good, you made it. So, I've had some time to think. I know this may seem a little unorthodox, but I want to go into the castle through the secret passage. Secret passage? But isn't this your castle? Yes, but we just learned that Count Verandis, my friend, my mentor, and the leader of House Ravenwatch possesses a Grey Host signet. That disturbs me, and I'm not disturbed easily. I want to investigate this quietly, without attracting attention. 
How'd you just ask Count Verandas where he got the signet? I don't want to do that until I have more information. Verandas and I, we're... Look, I'm not just going to run in there and hurl accusations at him. Especially about something this serious. I want to figure this out before I confront him. So what do you want to do? Verandas stores relics he's collected over the centuries in the castle cellar. Always keeps the door locked tight. I trust Verandas, but I need to see what he's hiding. I hope this is all a misunderstanding. That I'm wrong about all this. We'll see. Let's investigate the castle cellar. This way. The door's over here. She's got fantastic technique there. And down we go. One spade fawn we're in. Watch out for vermin. We don't fumigate down here as often as we should. Keep moving. There's a ladder at the end of this tunnel that leads up to the castle. Got it. All the people down here, I'm surprised there's any spiders at all. There's the ladder. That goes somewhere. Oh. <laughs> what a way to get in here. Let's hurry to the cellar. I'm fairly certain I can get it unlocked. Give me a moment. Hurry now. Inside. See if you can find the signal. It must be in one of these crates or boxes. Just a crate of knickknacks. Nothing important. Keep looking. I doubt anyone's been down here in decades. Poke around and see if you can find another signet. It should look like the one we got at Viridian Watch. Oh, I don't think people have been down here in decades either. <laughs> it's all an illusion. Not in there either. Ugh, Verandas. Why are you so good at hiding things? Another secret door? I didn't know that was here. It has the same mark as the signet. Maybe. Open. Let's see what's inside. Tanania. What is this place? Did Verandas use this as a secret study? Check the desk, would you? I can't believe Verandas kept a secret study. I have to know the truth about him and the Grey Host. But at the same time, I don't really want to. Could you check the desk, please? I... I can't quite bring myself to do it. Okay, I'm checking. I'm checking. Verandas, I know that your ceaseless quest to appease and coddle the mortals takes a great deal of your time. But I must insist that you have a brief respite from your work to come visit the great castle we erected in your absence. It truly is magnificent. I firmly believe that when the peace we both seek is realized, Grey Home will stand among the wonders of the world. It will be a beacon of hope for our kind and the mortals who serve us, a grand reminder that anything is possible with hard work and vision. Your absence is felt here. The great council rules the Grey Host. But your seat at our table remains empty. Even Exarch Ulfra feels your loss, though she would never admit it. Come, my friend, visit us at Greyholm. We created a laboratory that rivals anything in the Mage's Guild. I have no doubt that you and Exarch Zingalis can complete your research here. I've drawn a map on the back of this letter to guide you to the island. Return to us, Lerandis. Return to the Great Council. 
to your family and to your home, your beloved brother, Rada Al Saran. That letter, what does it say? No, oh, Gwendus, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. That letter. Please tell me it's just an old to-do list or something, and not actually proof that the man I trusted with my life was involved with the Grey Host. This letter suggests Count Verandus was a member of the Grey Host. What? Verandus? How could you? I don't want to believe it. And yet here it is, right before my very eyes. Why didn't he ever tell me? I thought I knew everything there was to know about him. No, there has to be more. What else does the letter say? It mentions an island in a grey host castle as a map too. It's possible that castle no longer exists, but I want to go. I refuse to believe Verandas was part of the grey host. There has to be more to this. Some piece of the puzzle that makes sense of everything. Are you still with me? I'll go with you to investigate the grey host castle. Thank you. The cart's still waiting outside. We'll take it to the docks and travel by boat from there as we follow this map. Go on ahead. I want to take one more look around. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll meet you by the cart. So much... So much knowledge. Let me just read. Read all the bookshelves. Alright, let's go to the cart. Nobody's been down here in decades. Oh, man. Okay. Now we go. Count Verandis. We know you're in there. Open the door, please. Just gonna ignore that guy as I find the boat just over here. Or meet Gwendus, rather, and go to the boat via cart. I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Delaying the inevitable won't help anyone, and it won't get me the answers I need. Come on, let's go see what's on this secret island. What do you think we'll find on this secret island? Answers, I hope. Look, I have to do this. I'm going to see this journey through. No matter what truth waits at the end, let's just go. The sooner we get this over with, the better. First, however, take this. You earned it. 